Hello friends, let us discuss a high yield topic, selenocysteine. This has been repeated in so many exam in so many years. Selenocysteine is the 21st proteinogenic amino acid. Proteinogenic means this amino acid is found in protein. Okay. Moreover, this amino acid has a specific tRNA. Okay. If you see arnithine, citrulline, and your homocysteine, these are all the these are also amino acids. Okay. They are found in the blood. They are usually not found in proteins and they do not have a specific tRNA. One can argue that citrulline is found in proteins because of post-translational modification. That does not mean that it is a proteinogenic amino acid. Proteinogenic amino acids are incorporated into the proteins. They are not due to post-translational modification. Clear? Citrulline is found in protein, but it arises due to a post-translational modification. It do not contain any codon specific for citrulline. It do not contain any specific tRNA. Okay. So, these are non-protein amino acids. Selenocysteine is the 21st proteinogenic amino acid. Pyrolysin is the 22nd proteinogenic amino acid, not in humans. Okay. Pyrolysin is not found in humans or other higher organisms. Let us first see the structure of selenocysteine. You all know the structure of glycine. Glycine is the simplest amino acid, right? NH2, CO, OH, H, H. Okay. If you put a CH2 group in glycine, that will become alanine. Okay. If you put a OH group in alanine, that will become serine. If you put a SH group in alanine, that will be your cysteine. Instead of SH, if you put a selenium, SEH, that will become your selenocysteine. That is why selenocysteine is named because of the cysteine. Clear? There is a selenium. Selenocysteine is found in some of the proteins and enzymes in the body. They are glutathione peroxidase, thyroidoxin reductase, 5 prime diiodinase and your selenoprotein P. Glutathione peroxidase is very important in RBCs to detoxify hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Thyroidoxin reductase is important for the enzyme ribonucleotide reductase. 5 prime diiodinase is involved in the peripheral conversion of T4 to T3. Clear? This is a high yield concept for exam. Clear? I told you that selenocysteine has its own specific transfer RNA and it utilizes a stop codon UGA codes for selenocysteine. UGA usually codes for stop codon, right? So, that is why we call this as reassignment. Selenocysteine is synthesized by translational recoding. Okay. Ordinary coding is recoded. It is recoding and this is also known as stop codon reassignment. Let us see how this is happening. I told you selenocysteine has its specific tRNA. Okay. This is the selenocysteine tRNA. Initially, this tRNA will carry serine. Okay. Then, this serine will be enzymatically converted to selenocysteine. Okay. So, now ultimately, the selenocysteine tRNA carries selenocysteine. Okay. There is again a specific elongation factor for selenocysteine is there. Okay. Who tells that you have to incorporate selenocysteine, there is a stem loop structure, okay. 